I've been playing this one a lot, the Hetfield Vulture. And I want to change the strings. So there's some stuff I was going to talk about with music and the guitar that I can just talk about during that. And I mean, ostensibly, it's like a podcast. Let's move this down. So there, okay. Now you can see my lap. Let's take this out. So I've got... Uh, I'm still using the Jeff Loomis pick. It's like a 1.5. It's got his like a logo and it says Dunlop and all that, but it's like raised, so it's got a good texture to it. It feels good and it's a sharp pick. Um, I think that's like really what I like to play with. I've been using that one almost exclusively now. Ooh, okay, there we go. So I've been playing these strings since like the middle of October, or maybe like, I think it might have been the end of September. And I noticed they start getting a little bit, they've been getting out of tune a little bit more here and there. So I think it's about time to um, move, go get a new pair, or go set up a new pair. I'm gonna use the same type uh, Diodario coated string. I did with this set of strings, I think, yeah, so it would be September then. I recorded all of the Grave Energy songs with this set of strings because um, I just set it up, wait, is that the wrong way? This one's backwards. No wonder it didn't work. I noticed that that one was weird when I was trying to tune it earlier yesterday actually and sure enough it's backwards so recorded like a bunch of like those five songs and like a bunch of riffs over the last um, three months so especially when I'm recording like for grave energy stuff I end up doing like geez so many takes it's at least, at least six, but usually I end up doing like a dozen or so takes of each to make sure it's right, make sure it sounds right, make sure the quality is where I want it to be. So these have gotten beaten up really, really well, so I've definitely got my use out of them. this dust off. You can get some of it off when it's the, uh, when the strings are on, but it's easier to not to do it uh, now. I've been using this stuff, F1 oil, guy on TikTok used it. And what this smells like is end dust. So it's like a, I don't know if it's like a treatment It cleans, conditions, protects. 100% natural oil or petroleum and wax free. So this keeps my fretboard clean and shiny. And you don't really realize it, how dirty your fretboard is when you first, um, I always get it on my pickup and I'm like, my pickup's dirty. But yeah, you never realize how dirty your fretboard is until you take off the strings and then you do something like this and all of a sudden your fretboard is shiny again. And you're like, oh wow, it was dirty. And especially 
Like I'm sitting here playing the same piece over and over again. Like I said, sometimes I think one of one of the um, you didn't get an email. That was me. I should go like this and make sure. So yeah, I'm I'm sitting here playing it, playing it, playing it, playing it, and um, yeah, it just gets dirty. So the big thing here is that I'm about to start recording. I have like two ideas for song. I haven't even told him yet. I should. I'll, the guy I've been working with. I have. Uh, I just. I literally just dump into. Um, a share, and then I, I send it to him, and I say, "Hey, here's a new here's a new song," <laughs> and that's how we work. So I'm. I have the idea together and I just want to put on new strings so that way it sounds good. Uh, they always come with, a, the Udarios always come with a color, color code. Actually, I should show you these. This is the Diodario, uh, it's a wound third too, so like E-A-D-G, the G string is also wound, I believe, I think I'm counting that right. But I'm doing 12 to 52. I tune down to uh, D. So, oops, don't let them, oh, they're going to start coming on loose, are they? Yep, there we go. Okay, not a problem. Just put them in my lab for now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I noticed that um, where I'm, where I normally pick for the most part, it was, uh, they were starting, it was starting to look a little bit um, worn, which is to be expected, that's what happens. But I've been playing a lot lately, I've been trying to play as much as I can. Uh, so, this, it was to be expected, and I want it to sound, when I record these new songs, I have two songs. One is called Bloodlust. I had the idea, I saw somebody had um, a shirt that said, can I pet your dog? And I had this idea, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Oh, well, I can't, I can't name the song, song, can I pet your dog? Well, I guess I probably could, but I'd rather call it Bloodlust. Because it has like a, a little twangy beginning which I need a, a nice, I noticed it was not sounding exactly right, and I was like, no, the strings are probably worn out already. So. Got that. What was the other song? The other song is just some weird song I've had in my head for a while, and I figured, well, I think maybe I could make that work. I have some other pieces that I can put together and make it a song, and then, He's a good enough musician that he could probably turn it into something useful. Whereas, like, I hit a wall and I don't know where else to go with it. Maybe he can help me out with that. And he can make it sound good. He made the other songs sound good, so I think I, I trust his ability to uh, elevate. So I have the goal for this year is to take this call. I'll be right back. Just, uh, let me see. Uh, the nice thing is these are color-coded, so they just work really well. So I have those two songs for Grave Energy. Grave Energy, if you go to graveenergy.com, they have uh, the songs are all there, and the uh, videos are all there. I made a playlist on YouTube of all the videos. The final versions of the videos are out. So uh, he, uh, he mixed them, like he spent a little time mixing them and getting it right and then he kept sending me like versions. And then it passed the car test for me. I listened to it in my car driving into work the other day. So that, once it passed the car test, I was like, okay, well, yeah, that's how he was like, are you sure they sound good? Does it sound good? I was like, yeah, it sounds nice and wide and heavy. And then he plays bass and drums, so the bass really just, uh, fills in the rest of that sound. So, 
I'm going to be recording those next two songs. Uh, hopefully, maybe even today if I have time, but definitely tomorrow. I want to um, record another Grave Fear song. I think I have another Grave Fear song kind of ready. I need to write a little bit more and I need to write drums for it. That's the only thing. That's a great thing about the Grave Energy stuff. I don't have to write drums because I'm not very good at that. I suck at guitar, but I really suck at writing drums. So, having new strings, these are nice, they'll sound nice and bright, and then I'm tuning it down, and especially with uh, the Neural DSP Gojira uh, Virtual Amp or whatever they call it, it just sounds so good ready uh, it'll sound it'll be it'll be good it'll sound good I hope the, I think the more I do this the, the easier it gets the better I get at it I guess I wish I could say the same for my guitar playing but I can't have it really see red so yeah I like the heavier one the heavier uh, 52 there's actually a 56, but I think the nut, I would have to change the nut, and I don't want to do that. Uh, not necessarily change the nut, but maybe just file it out. And I don't want to do that, because I don't know how to do that, and I don't want to screw it up, and then I have to go get it fixed, and pay money to get it fixed. So I'll just keep within that realm. And it, it does everything I need it to do. Uh, 50, 52 stays in tune really well. Especially, especially with this guitar. This guitar, that's how I knew the strings were kind of getting, were kind of at the end of life because I was playing on another guitar that I knew it was in tune and then I played this when I was double tracking, recording a riff and it sounded off and I was like, oh, is it this one? And I had to tune it and I hadn't tuned them in a while. I hadn't had to tune them in a while, I should say. So when, I, when that happened, I was like, oh, I needed to buy some new strings anyway, and I needed to change these strings. It's 2024, it's January 2024 as I'm recording this, so uh, start the year, new strings, new me. Wow, I'm almost done. Locking tuners. Locking tuners make this go so much faster. All right. New strings, new music. Um, the new piece. When you start seeing new Grave Energy stuff, I'll put it here on YouTube and on TikTok also. They'll be recorded on these brand new strings. And as always, the strings are in and perfectly in tune.